Hello guys and welcome to our first Moto tutorial. We're going to start simple. We're going to model something really simple just so you guys can get an understanding of how Moto works. And this is what we're going to model. We're going to model a little plastic chair. I put this together beforehand and we're just going to do one of them. Okay? So let's bring out Moto. And let's get started. First thing I'm going to do Make sure I'm in my basics tab, and I'm going to control click this cube, and it's going to give me a cube. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to divide this cube up into some more polygons, and I want to do that by using the uh, edge slice tool, or actually the loop slice tool. So I want to select the loop slice tool. I want a count of two. And I want it to be symmetry. And we'll go over here and click. Now you can see my two lines here. I also have this interactive little slider up here I can use. Like that. It looks good. Push spacebar, drop the tool, deselect everything, and there we go. We got our cuts. Let's cut some, let's just add a couple more loops here. First off, let's turn our symmetry off. Let's select a couple polygons here. Let's do our loop slice again. This time we're going to make the count one. And we'll make it free. There we go. We'll put this one back towards the back like that. Now we have us a cut there. So let's go through and do us one more cut. We'll cut along this way here. And we'll put it about right there okay now we have our geometry cut up let's select these faces hit delete and get rid of them now we got us an outline of a chair let's go to edge mode let's select our edges here let's go to our edge menu and let's select extend we have, I have move, rotate, and scale checked. Okay, click on the viewport to activate the tool, and let's move these down here. Like so, let's get in a little closer. Drop the tool. Let's go to vertices mode. Let's click these two vertices. We're going to want to join them together. So we'll go to vertex, and we'll say join averaged. And it'll say two points joined. Pretty simple. Let's go over here and do the same thing to this one. We'll select these two points. Join averaged. Okay. Let's zoom out here and see what we got. Now we have us this base little chair here. Now we need to fill it in. Let's go back to our edge mode by hitting space bar. You can see when I hit space bar, it cycles through my modes up here. So go to my edge mode. Select this edge. Shift click this edge. Shift click these two edges. We'll go to our edge menu and we'll bridge. And that bridges those together. Okay, so now let's drop our tool. Let's go back to our basic mode here. Okay, here's what we got. Let's a little tall, let's scale it down by going into our scale mode there. Okay, now we have this little chair. Now we can go into sub D mode here, subdivide things by hitting the tab key, and it'll subdivide for us once hit tab key to go back. And you can say that looks kind of, yeah, we need to give it more geometry. So let's select our item. Let's go to the mesh edit menu, select subdivide faceted. As you can see, that splits our geometry up a lot more. And when I hit tab, now we have a decent looking chair. Okay, let's go to our polygon mode here. And let's select these two polygons. Hit the L key to select the loop. Let's shift click these two polygons. Hit the L key to select the loop. And now we have that selected. So let's hit our B key to go into bevel mode. Group polygons is checked. Let's click to activate the tool. And let's bevel this out a little bit to make these creases in here. 
Let's see. Okay, now we got that little bevel in there. Let's go to the bottom here. Let's unsub, the, hit the tab key, and go back to our normal mode here. I'm going to select these two polygons. I'm going to hit the B key to activate the bevel tool, and I'm going to bevel it in a little bit using the red handle. And I'm going to bring it down like this. I'm going to shift click to activate the tool again. And let's bevel it way out this time and bring it down. Like that. Hit the tab key. Okay, now we got us a little chair going. Now we could, I guess, mess with it a little bit. We could go to our Sculpt and Paint tab, select our Push Brush, our Soft Brush, and let's right click and adjust our radius and let's model this up a little bit like this like so that looks pretty good hold the shift key to smooth and the control key to push back in okay Let's bring this up a little bit here. A little cushiony in the bottom there. Bring it down. It's a little high. Moto Sculpt and Paint Tools are great. I think they almost rival Zebra. Well, I can't say that, but they are good. Okay, let's go back to our edge mode. Select this edge. Let's select this edge. W to get our move tool. Let's move that back a little bit. I'm still not real happy with that up there. Um, let's see here. Smooth it out a little bit. And it looks like we got us a finished chair, if I must say so myself. Now you can experiment with these. Um, brush tools. Let's push that back in a little bit. There, that looks a lot better. And there we go. We have us a chair. Now if I say render view, we're just going to get the generic render with the generic background and we'll go in to show you and I'll go into later videos and show you how to get really good renders like I had in mine and we'll do that in later videos we just ain't got time in this one so uh, thanks for watching I hope this is give you a basic rundown of how Moto works I know it's not a real in-depth tutorial and I don't expect it to teach you a lot but maybe just get you down enough to get you oriented on how it works if, and just in case you're wondering how I navigate in the viewport you hold the alt option key or alt key for the Mac and click left click and it'll spin around you hold the alt and control key and left click and you zoom in the alt and shift key and you pan or you can just use these controls up here so there you go we modeled the basic chair in our future videos we'll take this chair and I'll show you how I rendered it to get it to look like this we haven't assigned a material or anything. We still need to assign a material to it. And we can do all that in future videos. This was just a basic modeling video. So thanks for watching, guys.